Hi, I just wanted to show you guys a new upgrade from Abstractor Pro. A lot of you have requested that you would like to import work orders from an Excel spreadsheet into Abstractor Pro. So here you go. Orders, import orders. Now on this screen, it's pretty important. Your Excel spreadsheet has to be one client and one product. So let's pick this client. There's his contact information. You can change that or add a new client or contact. Here you're going to pick your exact product type. When a product type is picked in the work order, that's what allows Abstractor Pro to put in your client fees and eventually allow you to pick a title searcher to do the job. So we've picked the product type. Now we're going to pick the instructions. That is current owner search instructions. And you're getting a little shot of those instructions here. Then the next thing, when you're in a work order screen, you always pick a template of what you want to say to the searcher in your email, in the body of the email. So let's pick the regular work order introduction. You'll notice up here there's a delete import order. So this way if you do something wrong, you'll be able to quickly delete all the orders you just imported. So let's see, the start date is going to be today, and let's say they are all due on the 29th. Now that's what Abstractor Pro is going to put into the work order. So now we're going to import a CSV. So you'll have your client orders in an Excel spreadsheet and you save that as a CSV file and then you can drop it here. So I'm going to drop this here and that's the document name. We'll just leave it as that name. Now you're going to see a little bit of what's on your spreadsheet so you can match up. What you do here is you're matching the field that's on the Excel spreadsheet or CSV file to the field that's on your work order. This is your client work order number. So we're going to pick that work order number and select a field of the client fee. I'm going to select all the rest of these pretty quick here. Okay, so I've now matched up all the fields inside my spreadsheet to where I want them to go inside of a work order. So now the first line contains the table column names, right? I don't want this to be imported. So I'm going to check that. And then you click that button. And now where they go is onto your open order screen. And you will see them immediately right here. So the first thing you got to do is get inside one of them and make sure that generally it all imported properly the way you wanted it to. So let's see. It looks good and you can be assured that you can now get into each and every one of these and actually select your vendor and now you've got your vendor fees and just very quickly send this in oops save and continue so now you can just very quickly go through all of these and get it out the door now that you've determined that all of these import jobs are correct you go ahead and quickly, pocket a pocket, or one after another, send them out to a vendor. When you do that, it changes the status to vendor. But you should not do another import of orders until you've gotten all of these. The reason is, on this screen, delete imported orders, if you have two different imports that you've done, and you one of them's good, but you haven't sent them out to your vendors yet, now you import something else, if you delete imported orders, it's going to delete all of them. So the best thing to do is go through that open order screen. Now that you've determined these are correct, send them on out one after another, getting inside, changing whatever you need to. At least that's all you got to do. So get all these out the door. Again, if that import is incorrect and you did something wrong on importing it, you can come back here and right now I'm going to go ahead and do it and you'll notice that all of those ones that still have the status of IMP on the open order report are going to be gone now. So let's go back there. Let's verify that. Yeah, so there's no more. Okay, that's it. Thanks.